guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to give you a full review of the breakfast here at Reglia Gold Hotel so we've stayed here for a single night and so far we're loving it the space that we get is absolutely jimongous lots of space to put your luggage around uh, there's a balcony window right outside you can just open up and have a quick look at that. The bed itself is really soft. Uh, we did ask for more blankets so that it'll be even more softer. But overall, this place is great. It's central to most of the food restaurants. So yeah, I'll give you my full review of the uh, breakfast. So definitely stay tuned. You ready for breakfast? I'm ready for breakfast. Do you know which floor? I don't know. We don't know, so we'll have to figure it out. Let's go. My address is blurry. Floor three. Oh, okay. Right there. Restaurant. The sun. Alright guys, here's my full review. Looks good. This is the drink section over here tea coffee juice this is the hot zone I'm not gonna show you what's inside it's too much this here is the salad section that's a lot that's a lot look at that <coughs> fruit section over here oh they got rambutan that's awesome I'm excited for that some more fruits. They're very fa famous for their guava. We'll try that. Yogurt. Uh, this section is the bakery section. And we also have congee if you like it traditional. All right? You want to open at least one? Show them. Okay. Dumpling. I don't usually eat like hot food. Heavy food. Heavy, right? I don't on this side, I think they make like fall here. And here's like eggs. Lots of space to eat. Alright, we got ourselves a spot right by the street. Just look at that. This is our view. Yeah. The only complaint I have. There's no easy. Yeah, it's like really hot. Yeah, so it's gonna be an issue. Maybe we ask them, can they turn on the AC? All right, guys. <clears throat> Give you a quick review of what I'm eating right now. Use noodle soup. Did you give me just the right amount of portion? So as to not overstuff you. That looks like they have rambutan. Mm hmm. Try some rabbit mutan later for you guys. This this fruit we we don't get in Vancouver. So excited about that. But this noodle soup has like shrimp, it has pork, tar siu, and uh, I also added some chili because I, I like chili. But overall it's a really light dish. Um, It's a start, right, to what's to come. But man, what are you guys doing at home watching this? You should be here experiencing this view, atmosphere, and food too. I got some uh, dishes for you guys. This is just basically vermicelli, right? Just that, and uh, basically there's vitamin sauce. 
Mm. It's really plain. Mm. You should have some sort of meat in it. Bread. This is the beef stew. Dip it. How's your experience so far? You ordered quite a lot. Lots of vegetables. Mostly vegetables. Yeah. Would you say that this is better than the other hotel breakfast or about the same? About the same. Yeah, it's about the same. Mm -hmm. What the, the unique part is you have more variety of vegetables. Mm -hmm. I mean, fruits. We have rambutan and this one. Yeah. What do you call that? Lychee? Or some form of lychee? Some form of lychee. Yeah. I also ended up having a traditional breakfast alongside with my Vietnamese food. But enough of that, I will show you how to open and eat a rambutan. Alright guys, so I just finished eating uh, most of the food. I'm going to share with you this uh, fruit, it's called rambutan. You can only get it in uh, Asia, it's very common. Mm. FYI, there's actually a pit inside that you have to remove. Sorry, I kind of ate it before showing you guys. Basically, that's what it looks like. Right? There's actually a seed inside, so you gotta be careful. You peel it off, and you end up with something that looks like lychee. Right? Mm, that lots. Mm. Mm. Basically, this whole video is gonna be dedicated to this one fruit. <laughs> mm. you can find these in Vancouver. Loga. These are jujube, they call jujube. Is it, is it no, sour? I think sour. Just like a an apple. But tasteless. Right? And then guava of course. Okay, so what's your final verdict of this uh, breakfast? It's okay. But it has all my childhood food. Yeah. This corn and this. Rambutan. Rambutan. Yeah. How's the coffee? The only negative thing I would probably say about yeah. this hotel yeah, so breakfast is that their coffee so, is very warm is by the is. time you drink it. We're just gonna have a little bit of that. <laughs> so after eating breakfast, we went outside for a walk and decided to check out the beach and do a little bit of sightseeing. All right guys, we're in Natrang and uh, one of the things that is most famous in Natrang is their beaches. So we're gonna check it out. Check it out. Yeah, we're gonna have a quick look. I'm gonna share with you basically, I walk there, maybe a brief uh, overview of the beach and that's pretty much it. Give you guys a street walk towards the beach. Get an overview of the uh, the hustle and bustle of the city. Yeah, I think this is residential. Yeah, that was residential. Looks pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Right by the beach too. Just the hustle and bustle of the city. Motorcycle, cars, bikes, you name it. So that was a nice walk. It took about 15 minutes from our hotel to get to the beach. While we were walking, we got to experience the sound, atmosphere, and vibe of the street. It was quite an experience. And for those who are also beach lover, definitely check out Nachang. We are here 
by the water. There's an open space here. This is the square. People come here for walks. People exercise here. People bike here. Uh, people just come here just to hang out, right? Now along the beach is obviously hotels. You can see right over there. That's actually a resident. But there's a lot of hotels here. You guys can stay by the water if you guys like water activities, anything related to water. Come and visit Najang. That pretty much sums up my quick tour of the beaches in Square of Nanjiang. If you like this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, cheers.